Hi, so today I'm going to show you how to install the OpenVPN client on your machine and connect to your site. Uh, the first thing you want to do is get your email that was sent to you by your system administrator and you want to get your credentials and go to your link that was sent to you. All right, this link will be uh, in your email and what you want to do is type in the username and password here that you were given. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to type in my password. And I'm going to leave it at connect and hit go. And what it's going to do is it's going to want to download the OpenVPN software. So you want to click on this link that you see here. It says, please click here to continue. So you want to go ahead and click on that. And then you're going to get a pop-up down at the bottom that says, run, save, or cancel. Now, if you want to run it right away, you can go ahead and click run. And what it's going to do is it's going to download the software and it's going to automatically start the installation. Now, as you can see right here, I have a pop-up at the bottom. So what we're gonna do is, now that we've got the file, I wanna go ahead and close the browser and I no longer need it. I have downloaded the software. Now your pop-up might be minimized, so you wanna click on the yellow shield if that's what you have. And there's a message from Semantic Antivirus that wants to verify that you wanna download this file and allow this file to run. So you're going to click this button right here. It says allow this file. So click on this button to allow this file and then you get an additional pop-up. You're going to go ahead and click OK. And the install is going to run. All right, so you may get a pop-up um, that's verifying the software that you want to install it and you want to click yes. You may or may not get that message depending on your security settings on your machine. Yours may just go ahead and install and what you're going to see is this icon on your desktop. This one right here. It'll have an orange circle with a uh, some blue in there and so now that tells you that you have installed it all right so the second part of the instructions ask you to go to get Google Authenticator on your phone so what you want to do is you may have a different kind of phone um, I have an iPhone I'm going to show you you go to the App Store icon so you see the icon for the App Store and what you want to do is go down to the search button there and I want to go up here and type in Google space authenticator so you see the second one there go ahead and choose Google authenticator app and it comes up so would you want to hit get there and hit install all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that downloaded. And now it is on your machine. So you can go ahead and click open, which will open it up, okay? And this is what it looks like. So now you have that on your phone. So that's the second step of your instructions is to get Google Authenticator on your phone. Now, the third part and the final part is going to be getting a code for your Google Authenticator, which is your multi-factor authentication. So let's go back to your computer. Okay, now that you're back at your computer, you're going to go back to your VPN website, the one you originally logged into to download the software. Once you go there, you may have to log back in and that's fine, go ahead and log back in. 
Now you're going to get this page. And if you look at this page, it allows you to download various clients, but that's not what we're looking for. We want to scroll down. As you can see, it says Google Authenticator Setup. So you want to scroll down on this page and you will see a barcode. Okay. Now you want to get your phone and you want to go to open your app for the Google Authenticator that we just downloaded. Okay, let me show you what that looks like. So you have the Google Authenticator on the phone. You want to click Begin Setup, and then you'll get a pop-up that says Scan Barcode or Manual Entry. You want to hit Scan Barcode, and you want to hold, you may get a message that says, Authenticator would like to access your camera. Click OK and hold your phone up to that barcode. It's gonna take it and it's gonna present you with a number, okay? Okay, so we're gonna put the phone on the side here. Now once you've scanned your barcode, right? Remember the barcode that we scanned? Once you've scanned and you've got the number, it is essential that you click this I scan the QR code. If you do not do that, you will not be able to access it because it does not think it gave you the Google Authenticator code. So every time we try to log in, it's going to disconnect you because it does not know that you received the code because you did not click this link. So let's make sure that we click I scan the QR code. Now it's going to say you are ready to connect to Google Authenticator code. Okay, so Let's close the browser because we no longer need to use the browser. We use the desktop application that we install to get into the VPN. So what you wanna do is close your browser, go to your desktop and you look for this icon that you see here. You're gonna double click that icon and you're going to use the same username and password that you were given and that you were typing into this site. So let's go ahead and type in your credentials and hit connect. Now your second prompt is going to be to get your code. So this is where you pick up your phone and you look at your code. So for instance, this is the code that I have and this is the code that I'm going to type in. This is called multi-factor authentication. You're gonna put that in and you're gonna hit continue. Okay, now it's gonna be a minute and you will get a pop-up like this one here. Let me get a little closer. That says your VPN is connected. Okay. Now, you have successfully connected to the VPN. Now what you want to do is connect to your website. Your website credentials were also given to you by your system administrator. And what you want to do at this point that you're connected is you want to go to your Google Chrome. You want to open your Google Chrome and you want to browse to the website. that was given to you for your application. And you want to put in your credentials for that application. This concludes the OpenVPN installation. Thank you.